Hello there again. Uh, this lesson we're going to deal with a two-point perspective drawing. I should record the Hadley Razi 8. And this is this this isometric drawing, we're going to convert it into a perspective drawing, a two-point perspective drawing. Taking this work example is taken from the Grafco communication website. I'll give you the link. It's a very good presentation on perspective drawing. So I've already drawn this estimated perspective. We're, I've already drawn the two vanishing points, two point perspective. Here I've got the base point, the lowest point of my drawing, and I've already drawn the width. So this point here is the middle. This is the true length taken as this length here, 88. I've taken this 70 on the left hand side of my bottom corner, 70 up to here, and I've taken also the right hand side, 150 on the right hand side. So 150 to the right, 70 to the left, and 88 is the length, is the height of my crate. So those points should be given for your question. I've got two vanishing points, the bottommost point, and these I've, these I've calculated from the dimensions given. Now this is an estimated perspective and I'm going to take this point to the vanishing point so would the other point go to the vanishing point the top that's the highest point of my crate also going to the vanishing point so these, this face here should contain this, these dimensions here, and this face should contain these dimensions on this side. Now I need to find the length of my crate. Now the length of my crate here is given as 150, but 150 in perspective will not remain 150. So I've taken the 150 horizontally, and now I'm going to use a proportion so every length will be reduced to a proportional scale suitable for perspective. Now you have to keep in mind that the further you go towards the vanishing point, the dimensions will always be reducing. So 50 millimeter here will be much larger than a 50 millimeter somewhere here because in perspective the dimensions get narrower the further you go, they go away. So I'm going to choose a point on this eye level here. This eye level joins the two vanishing points. And that point is going to serve me as a point to keep my perspective scale. Now I could take this point here, which is the line taken from this edge of the crate, where it meets the eye level. But I could also take the midpoint gives you a more proportional scale if you take the midpoint. Now usually, so I've t I'm taking a line from this 70 up to the eye level. I'm going back to the 150 to the 150 up to the eye level which gives me that crate. <coughs> now this, if, if this confuses you, you can just take that point as the proportional scale. Well, I'm going to do it in a very similar manner, but I'm going to find, I'm going to take the point in the middle as the midpoint. So here I have 70 and 150, which gives me 220. 110 is the midpoint. Now I'm going to choose this point 
as the point I'm going to use as a proportional scale. You could take this as well, it won't make, it won't make much of a difference. But you can see that the method from now on is always going to be it's going to be very similar. So choosing this point and this point will change very little. Now this point, this point up here, where I took the 70 here, if you join it to that point, there's no need to keep on going up to that point, just to hit the crate. There you found the length of your crate. So the 70 horizontally will be converted to this length here. So that represents the 70. Same thing on this side. I've connected it up to that point there and the 50 has been the 150 has been reduced to that length there. From now on, you take vertical lines. So those, you could see how my crate is starting to form. This is one side, that's the other side. From here, the top of the crate, I'm taking to the vanishing point on the opposite side and the same the other way around. There you have the crate. That's the crate. Now, what you need to do now is any dimension taken on this length, for example, here you have this 20 millimeter between that hole and the edge, another 22 of that hole. Those lengths shouldn't be taken directly on the crate, they should be taken on this true length here. So I'm taking 20 millimeter on the true length. And that 20 millimeter <coughs> should be taken to the 